Hello? Yes, uh... Hello, good evening everyone. Can you hear me now? Just give me a thumbs up if all of you can hear me and listen to me. Hello? Yes, all right. Okay. All right. So, hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Okay, so I can now see all of you. All right. So, this is a class on biomedical waste management, everyone. All right. So, uh, we will be quickly moving to what is the definition, what are the various types of wastes, and then we'll be also seeing about how to dispose them, what colors goes into which color waste, okay? That is the most important thing which troubles all of us. Ki konsa waste kis bag mein jata hai, okay? So that is my motto today to make you clear and understand that which waste goes into which color, okay? So as you all know me, I'm Dr. Neha, right? Okay? So now let us start. You all know what is the definition of biomedical waste, everybody. Biomedical waste means any waste which is generated during the diagnosis, all right, treatment or immunization of human beings or animals or in research activities pertaining thereunto or in the production of testing of biological. Okay, so this is just a simple definition that what is biomedical waste. They can just ask you for, particularly for university examinations. So first I'll just be briefing you slightly about biomedical waste. Then we'll be going on to look at the images and at the various disposal mechanisms. Okay, biomedical waste everybody we have two types non-hazardous and hazardous okay non hazardous kya hota hai? 75 to 90% is kind of non hazardous and hazardous is 10 to 25% everybody all right so that is hazardous so non hazardous me um, you can have different types of waste but the important thing is this slide this is very very important slide guys where i have classified for you the general healthcare waste could be 80% Pathological and infectious waste could be 15%. Our sharp waste could be 1%. Chemical and pharmacological waste could be 3%. And radioactive cytotoxic waste, pressurized containers, broken thermometers, other things could be 1%. Okay. So this was just a gist of what is the definition or kitna by uh, um, hospital waste may how much is the infectious portion. Okay. You will be getting to see a lot of uh, MCQs right now in a while. I hope I am audible to all of you. Just let me know once more if I am audible, right? Okay. Hospital waste and medical waste. If somebody asks you by chance that what is the difference between hospital waste and medical waste? Okay, so hospital waste refers to all waste biological or non-biological that is discarded and is not intended for future use, all right, for further use. Medical waste refers to materials generated as a result of patient diagnosis, all right, treatment, immunization of human beings or animals. So there's a difference between those wastes also, okay. Let us move ahead. Quantity of waste generated in hospitals in developed countries, everybody, can you see this? It is 1 to 5 kg per um, bed per day. So, this can also come as an MCQ and in India, it is 1 to 2 kg per bed per day. Now, all of you tell me in the comment section, which ministry is responsible for biomedical waste guidelines? Which ministry is responsible hai guys? for biomedical waste guideline how many of you remember the ministry which is responsible which looks after this biomedical waste guideline so it is none other than ministry of environment forestry and climate change okay so it is the ministry of environment okay forest and climate change good richie all right, this is the ministry which is responsible for looking after the biomedical waste guidelines, okay? Now, we have which year rules now? This could also come as an MCQ. So, right now, we have BMW rules 
1998 वाला रूल्स वर द ओल्ड वंस ऑल राइट सो इन दिस यू हैव टू नो सम ऑफ द डिफरेंसेस दैट 1998 रूल्स ऑक्यूपाइज वाज एलिजिबल फॉर ऑक्यूपायर्स हु हैड मोर देन 1000 बेड्स एंड रिक्वायर्ड टू ऑब्टेन ऑथराइजेशन all right every occupier now whoever is generating biomedical waste including something which is generated in health camps or ayush they also require to obtain authorization there was someone known as an operator so earlier the operator duties were absent now the duties of the operator is listed most important mcq ek to ye hai Dusra, it is this one, okay? Earlier, we used to have 10 categories. How many categories do we have right now, guys? We have four categories, okay? This is also one of the most important questions that how many categories do we have now? So, we have four categories. And this is also MCQ. Rules are restricted to healthcare establishment with more than 1,000 beds earlier. Now, it is for all the healthcare establishments. One more question that can come is now we have five earlier we used to have five schedules now we have four schedules this is the theoretical part of it okay not many questions come from the theory part of it but still we must know that now biomedical waste rules applies to all the healthcare establishments we have four categories and four schedules okay all right now this is just a classification of the healthcare waste for all of you we will be seeing the disposal of all these wastes in a while okay here you have you can have infectious waste like the waste suspected to contain pathogens lab cultures wala swabs wala pathological waste human tissues sharps may you have needles infusion sets scalpels all these things Pharmaceutical waste, expired drugs, genotoxic waste are cytotoxic drugs, chemical waste are lab reagent, film developer, disinfectants. We'll be seeing all of this in a while where we are going to dispose. That is the most important, all right? Wastes with high content of heavy material, that is also very, very important. Pressurized containers, radioactive waste. Um, this is just slightly a uh, small font, but I'll be telling you each of it, how we are going to dispose it, then you will understand Himlata, all right? Okay, now this is one of the most important slides of the day. We'll quickly have a look at this. Then we'll be progressing to how we are going to dispose of which waste in which category. Okay? Now, dekho, you have four categories. Yellow, red, white and blue. Yellow includes non-chlorinated plastic bags. Okay, This is the type of container. All the infectious non-recyclable things. Okay, Non-recyclable waste goes into the yellow color bag. This includes anatomical waste, human, animal, soiled waste, expired or discarded medicines, chemical waste, microbiology, biotechnology and other lab waste which is generated and chemical liquid waste. What do we do to them? We dispose them by incineration or plasma pyrolysis or deep burial. Where do you think is deep burial used? Deep burial is used at those places where incineration facilities is not available like in a PHC. Okay, all incineration and plasma pyrolysis require high temperatures. We'll just be seeing them in a while. Okay, red. Red color bag mein kya jata hai? Anything which is recyclable and is a plastic. Plastic ho, semi-plastic ho, all those which are recyclable will go into a red color bag. Okay, like recyclable are contaminated tubings, bottles, IV tubes set catheters, urine bags, syringes without needles and gloves, okay? And how do we dispose them? We can autoclave them, microwave them, hydroclave them and then they are sent for recycling. They are not to be sent in the landfills everyone, okay? Then you have a white color bag which is waste shafts including metals. They are also subjected to auto heat or dry heat sterilization followed by shredding, mutilation or encapsulation. And last but not the least is the blue color bag which includes glasswares and metallic implants. And what is the most important thing that is done in a blue color bag guys? This is a bag which requires 
pre-treatment okay you have to before disposing pre-treat this with at least one percent of sodium hypochlorite is that clear okay now this is also disinfected they go it requires pre-treatment disinfected then it is sent for autoclave microwave hydrowave and then sent for recycling okay so this was just a small um, kind of uh, a gist about the different categories now we are going to move to how we are going to dispose each of it into which color bag so you are going to give me answers to it the first thing all right one more important thing can you tell me what is a what is b and what is c all these symbols come in our examination so now we are going to the mcq part of it can you tell me what is symbol a symbol a kya hai symbol a is biomedical waste ka symbol okay biomedical waste symbol very good symbol b is radiation hazard all this has come in our examinations okay so this is radiation hazard and what is this green color everyone this is recycling and one thing very important is that here can you see this biomedical waste disposal relies on three r's they can ask you what are these three r's reduce reuse and recycle biomedical waste management relies on all the three r's reduce reuse and recycle okay this is very very important now let us proceed to uh, question and answer round so tell me what is this image guys what do you think this is anybody quickly in the comment section ye kya hai? what is this and in which color bag is this going to go so let's see your answers what is this everyone this is going to go in red color bag all right but what is it very good neha devashri everybody this over here is a foley's catheter all right all your doubts i'll try to clear right now i'll also tell you the disposal of ppe and all those things very good so this is foley's catheter foley's catheter goes into a red color bag they are made of plastics at the same time they are recyclable anything which is plastic recyclable will go into a red color bag what is this everybody this is nothing but a urine bag now how can you remember urine bag see it has the word r in it all right so since it has the word r in it it is going into a red color bag is that clear okay very good guys next one let us see some more images Ye kya hai? what do you think this is everybody what is this this is yes urine bag goes into the red color bag what is this image this is the iv bottle okay this is the iv bottle and drip set all right again iv bottle and drip set since they are recyclable they will go into red color bag they are made up of plastics all right okay our favorite question what is this what is this we all know these are gloves so whether it is surgical gloves okay you have to dispose in which color bag very good neeraj ruchi everybody these are surgical gloves guys okay and surgical gloves have to be disposed in the red color bag now whether the gloves are soiled or they are not soiled okay whether they are blood stained okay whether they are blood stained or they are not blood stained okay chahe usme blood laga ho chahe usme blood nahi laga ho they are going to go in which color bag they are going to go in red color bag all right this is a very very important question gloves blood stained or not blood stained will go into the red color bag always red color bag okay next question what is this everyone so any of this can come in your entrance examinations Ye kya hai and which color bag does this go into this is a syringe all right syringe without needle okay everyone so a syringe without needle goes into a red color bag all right but if i gave you syringe with needle that is going to go into a white color bag is it clear very nice very good okay so this is important what is this what is this everybody what is this quickly tell me what is this 
syringe without needle into a red color bag with needle goes into a white color bag ye kya hai what are these everybody vials or you can say vacutainers all right very good lahi neha everyone so these are vacutainers you will be seeing a lot of mcqs and a lot of images right now okay so i'll i'll try to tell you all possible questions that can be asked theek hai these are vacutainers these vacutainers are going into a red color bag is that clear vacutainers also go into a red color bag what is this everybody ye kya hai can you make out at the same time you are being asked certain images what is this this is nothing but a rails tube all right so rails tube kis mein jata hai like foley's catheter rails tube is also going into come on let's see your answers rails tube nasogastric tube whatever any form of these tubings they are made of plastics they go into a red color bag very good guys okay so some of the red color bag things that we just saw are all those just may say a lot of times gloves has come as answer as mcq needles with uh, syringes without needle wo bhi aaya hua exam mein theek hai ab ye kya hai ye kya hai what do you think this is what is what is this this is nothing but ye kya hai what is this this is a broken glass please remember whether we have a broken glass whether we have a broken vial where is it going to go everybody broken ampule broken glass broken vial whatever you say guys glass will always go into a blue color bag we need to pre treat it and then we have to dispose this in our blue color bag is that clear everyone not yellow not white broken glass broken vials they will always go into blue color bags is that clear guys all right but now i'm going to ask you some questions okay suppose i have a glass theek hai which has cytotoxic drug in it where is this going to go glass with glass vial or ampule whatever you say with say cytotoxic drugs in it where is this going to go guys glass vial with cytotoxic drugs very good pooja with cytotoxic drugs or discarded medicine even if it's a glass vial it will go into a yellow color bag is that clear ठीक है, बट ब्रोकन ग्लास और ब्रोकन वायल्स ऑलवेज गो इन टू द ब्लू कलर बैग ठीक है ye kya hai this looks like a what what is this everyone the next figure so you have to remember many times they have asked you glass with expired medicines where do they go all right okay what is this guys what do you think this is broken uh, devshree bo broken will always go into a blue color bag dear all right yes but ye kya hai anything which is to do with glass over here this is not broken this is just a glass vial okay this is going to go into the blue color color bag what else goes into the blue color bag any form of glass like i told you this will go into a blue color bag okay all right you will see some of the other questions also to make your understanding clear what is what are these guys these are nothing but orthopedic implants okay where do orthopedic implants go everybody orthopedic implants orthopedic implants kaha dispose hota hai anyone orthopedic implants where do they go they go go in blue color bag any form of metallic implants guys and we have to pre treat them with 1% sodium hypochlorite and then dispose it okay so any form of orthopedic implants metallic implants are going into the blue color bag very good very good okay now what is this this is a pace maker like i told you any metallic implant anything is going into a blue color bag so you could be given this image so this is a pace maker this also goes into a blue color bag okay all right what are these everybody what are these pathological glass slides where do they go guys pathological glass slides or not just pathological glass slides any form of glass slides whether you are using in microbiology or using in pathology anywhere very good slides will always go into blue color bag guys okay these are glass wares they will go into blue color bag theek hai 
all right now what is this so these were some of the blue color bags we'll be doing some more mcqs as we progress then you will be asked to answer many more what is this everyone these are all our sharps sharps may look this we use this is a scalpel scalpel goes into a uh, white sorry it goes into a white color bag all right scalpels white blades any form of blades you have razor blade any form okay it's going into a white color bag what is this everybody these are suture needles okay cat gut suture needles where do suture needles go guys suture needles since they are needles they are going into they are sharps so they will go into a white color bag am i under, am i clear everyone so far you are understanding okay what is this this is an expected mcq guys a needle with a syringe with a needle can you see this there is a syringe with a needle so since this has a needle everyone dekho this will go into a white color bag but what is that instrument called which is used to um, you know cut this needle part when you might have gone for getting your blood examinations and all these done we usually cut this needle part so what is that called as that instrument is used called as a hub cutter okay hub cutter is some thing one second hub cutter okay hub cutter kya karta hai it is used to cut the needle part of it and the needle part will go into the white color the syringe which will be left behind will go into the red color bag clear all right what is this everyone this is also in form of needle only isko kya bolte hain this is a lumbar puncture needle all right so lumbar puncture needle everyone this also goes into which color bag lumbar puncture needle will also go into a white color bag okay so these are some of the questions now comes a very important category of biomedical waste which is yellow guys so yellow mein hum kya dalte hain yellow mein any form of human anatomical waste like the uh, you know use uterus cervix this fetus this placenta everything goes into a yellow color bag yellow color bag ko how are we going to dispose of we will be carrying out the incineration you will be seeing the incinerators also in a while so let's see what all go into the uh, yellow color bag this is either you can say human anatomical waste okay so human anatomical waste human tissues organs body parts even the animal anatomical waste this is one of the most important slides of the day everyone most important slide a lot of questions come from this dekho anything which is soiled with blood not gloves soiled gloves will go into red color bag but other than this any soiled tissue any soiled paper any gauze piece any used dressing all right ye dekho all these images plaster cast all these things are going to go in the yellow color bag am i clear look see this bandaid over here any of this they are not going to yes they are going to go into the yellow color bag one of the most important slides of the day is that all these things that are soiled they go into which color bag very good yellow color bag now let us also see some other things what are these guys this is a shoe cover shoe cover is one of our pps again shoe cover i'll be telling you separately also about pps shoe cover will go into which color bag will go into yellow color bag yellow anita will go into yellow color bag shoe cover ho gaya i'll be showing you a list okay shoe cover ho gaya head cover ho gaya disposable linen gown all of that will go into a yellow color bag i'll show you the list in a while what is this discarded linen and beddings from the hospitals all this is going to go into a yellow color bag and then they will be uh, incinerated all right some other things these could be anything expired discarded meds okay expired meds discarded meds all right discarded meds or you could have cytotoxic meds okay cytotoxic drugs all of this they go into the yellow color bag theek hai all right okay one of the most important questions asked in fmg neat pg inict sab jagah this is what this is blood bag and where does the blood bag go see blood is red 
going into yellow. ठीक है यूरिन बैग में द वर्ड आर इज दर गोइंग इन टू रेड बट ब्लड बैग गोज इन टू विच कलर बैग येलो कलर बैग वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गुड निरुपम एवरी वन और राइट ओके लेट सी सम अदर थिंग्स इन्फेक्शियस लिक्विड वेस्ट लाइक एनी फॉर्म ऑफ इन्फेक्टेड सिक्रीशन वेदर इट्स प्यूटम फीसिस यूरिन नाउ बिफोर ऑल दिस Uh, will be dis deposited in yellow color, but here we need to pre-treat. Please remember, for yellow colored bag, one thing which needs to be pre-treated are all these infected secretions, sputum, feces. We can pre-treat them one percent sodium hypochlorite. Okay, and then they will everything the this thing is going into the yellow color bag. All right, liquid waste. These are liquid chemical waste, whatever from lab reagents, normal saline. All this also go into the yellow color bag. Okay, don't look at this. This is vacuutainers. All right, rest all go into the yellow color bag. Now tell me this question first. According to BMW guidelines, gloves are disposed in which color bag? So let us quickly see some of the PPE. How we are going to dispose? Blood. Is my answer A, B, C? Hai ya D? Hai. Gloves. Gloves are going to go into very good red color bags, whether they are soiled or they are unsoiled. Next question. What is this used mask? So, in which bag is used mask disposed? Come on, waiting for your answers. Good, Anshu, Neeraj, everyone. Very good. Used masks are disposed into the yellow color bag. Good. All right. So you have to remember this. I've shown you this image before. Also, this is very very important. for the disposal of pp if you have masks any form of mask n95 ho gaya triple layer ho gaya head cover cap shoe cover disposable linen gown all of this is going into yellow color bag but if you talk about red color bag it is goggles all these are recyclable made of plastics goggles face shields splash proof apron gloves and hazmat suit All right, all this are going into the red color bag. ये देखो splash proof apron goes into the red color bag. Now guys, very important. Tell me, general waste किस में जाता है? General waste which comprises of say wrappers of medicine, syringes, or say fruit peels of empty juice bottles, tetra packs. Either for a patient in the hospital, okay, patient in hospital, or whether it's a person, particularly during these times of COVID, is under home isolation. ठीक है, so the जो general waste होता है every time, guys, very good. All the general waste, they could be leftover food, disposable food place. They are going into the black color bag. Now I'm going to tell you for COVID patient what happens. See, suppose there is a patient who is under home isolation. All right, there's a patient who is under home isolation. So obviously, biomedical waste will be generated when a patient is under home isolation. Guys, we have two color bags that are present with us: black and yellow. All the other things that I just spoke, these, all these general waste. If the patient is under home isolation, will go in the black color bag. Okay, the general waste. But if the patient ka use syringe, although the syringe should go in a red color bag, but when the patient is under home isolation, okay, home isolation in case of COVID. we only have two color bags black and yellow then everything like a syringe date expired discarded medicine whether it's empty ampules whether it's a used mask gloves kuch bhi theek hai whether it's a drain bag urine bag body fluid or blood soaked tissue cotton everything will go into a yellow color bag this question can be expected in your exams this time that under home isolation what are the colors of bags which are available with us black and yellow and guys whenever you have to dispose these things now you have to separately label it as covid um uh, covid patient something like that okay and then put a seal on it and then you have to hand it over to the person who collects so that it can be accordingly disposed of pre treat zarur karna before handing it over all right but it is rarely that all these precautions are followed but still if the question comes under home isolation which color bags are available under bmw it is yellow and black okay
all right quickly tell me this mcq which color bag should be used for disposal i that is only true for home isolation guys or a health camp or a camp for covid patients nowhere else all right okay otherwise you will have red yellow blue blue and white color ye batao what color bag should be used for disposal of n95 head cover head cap disposable linen gowns very good yellow color bag okay all these are part of our pp pp ye batao disposal of quick revision goggles face shields hazmat suits plastic overall nitrile gloves all of this goes into which color bag dhyan se dhyan se guys this one goes into very good goggles ho gaya face shields ho gaya hazmat suits ho gaya good they go into the red color bag is that clear everyone okay so this was for your revision all right now we are going to do some very important questions tell me all are incinerated except put in your answers guys so we'll be taking another 5 to 6 minutes for some of the important mcqs what is your answer to this question all are incinerated except a b c or d let's wait for a few more answers good good guys very good kabhi bhi broken thermometer ko incinerate mat kar dena galti se bhi nahi karna hai theek hai why why guys what do broken thermometers contain and how do we then dispose that particular thing broken thermometers mein kya hota hai they contain mercury and mercury can never ever be incinerated everybody okay so look over here i have just put a a small heading for you how is mercury disposed okay how is mercury disposed can you all see this one of the most important questions guys how is mercury disposed number 1 jahan pe bhi suppose thermometer has broken and has dropped put a caution board and cordon of the area you have to seal off the area second point remove all jewelry from your hands and wrists so that mercury does not react with any precious metals wear all your pp is it enough to wear a mask no you are going to wear everything guys okay right from your face shields your goggles your mask gowns everything all right this is not spill management this is mercury management okay spills may we will be talking about body fluids ठीक है मर्क्यूरी मैनेजमेंट में वेयर पीपी देन कैसे करोगे नेवर क्लीन द मर्क्यूरी विद अ ब्रूम और एनीथिंग कलेक्ट द मर्क्यूरी डॉपलेट्स टुगेदर बाय यूजिंग टू कार्डबोर्ड पीसेस एक्सरे फिल्म्स यूज अ फिलर डक टेप सीरेंज यू हैव टू होल्ड सपोज यू हैव टू पेपर्स होल्ड इट लाइक दिस टू कलेक्ट इट ओके देन फिफ्थ पॉइंट ड्रॉप द कलेक्टेड मर्क्यूरी इनटू अ बॉटल हाफ फिल्ड विद वाटर एंड टाइटली कवर द लिड ऑफ द बॉटल ठीक है लेबल द कंटेंट्स ऑफ द बॉटल विद डेट send the mercury container bottle back to the manufacturer this is how it is disposed of it has to be sent after all the necessary precautions you will send it back to the manufacturer and you are going to cover this pill with 10% sodium thiosulfate solution and clean it with a mop remove all your pp and dispose it as advised clear everyone this is how you are going to manage mercury spills you are never going to you are never going to you know you will never ever incinerate a mercury spill is that clear okay all right let's see this is what is this what is the disinfectant which is commonly used in covid 19 tunnels so this was made before we used to use per 1% of sodium hypochlorite some of the other questions all right good let us see some of the other questions now quickly all our measures used against covid 19 except anyone knows the answer to this it is not all our measures used against covid 19 except what is your answer 1% glutaraldehyde you because this is a disinfectant and this is used to basically clean our endoscopes all of those things let us have a look at some more questions what is incineration guys incineration kya hai a b c d high temperature reduction process low temperature reduction process high temperature oxidation process low temperature oxidation process so what is the correct answer to this what is incineration guys 
ऑल राइट आई कैन सी नो 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 नॉट हाई टेम्परेचर रिडक्शन प्रोसेस नहीं है इट इज सी गुड हेमा इट इज हाई टेम्परेचर ऑक्सीडेशन प्रोसेस सम ऑफ द पॉइंट्स फॉर इंसिनरेशन टेम्परेचर ऑफ मोर देन ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड डिग्री सी दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यू प्रिंसिपल इज इट वर्क अंडर हाई टेम्परेचर ड्राई ऑक्सीडेशन मेथड इट हैज कम्बस्टेबल मैटर मोर देन सिक्सटी परसेंट नॉन कम्बस्टेबल क्यूम्स आर लेस दैन ट्वेंटी परसेंट मॉइस्चर कंटेंट इज लेस दैन थर्टी नाइन परसेंट ओके सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द पॉइंट एंड इट इज गोइंग टू रिड्यूस द ओरिजिनल वॉल्यूम ऑफ कम्बस्टेबल सॉलिड वेस्ट बाई एटी टू नाइनटी परसेंट this also comes as your mcq all right one more thing look these are the uh, types of incinerators you can have a primary chamber or a secondary chamber incinerator this has also come as an mcq primary chamber operates at 800 plus minus 50 and secondary chamber operates at 1050 plus minus 50 this is also asked so have a look at the incinerators can you see this figure image everybody this can also come as your mcq this is a dual chamber incinerator most commonly used are dual chambers incinerators only is that clear okay all these are incinerators incineration very very important is not suitable for pressurized gas containers reactive chemicals silver salts and photographic radiographic waste halogenated plastics broken thermometer shafts so this can also come as an mcq where incineration is not suitable for okay looking to a for a few more questions guys tell me this we also did it in the morning class at 9 am quality control agent for sterilization in an autoclave what is your answer to this one guys quality control agent for sterilization in autoclave so you have autoclave hydroclave microwave all these are used uh, for different color bags okay so the answer is very good to check the sufficiency of autoclaving it is bacillus stereothermophilus this is the answer autoclave me uh how do we check the sufficiency geobacillus stereothermophilus hydroclave bacillus subtilis microwave bacillus atrophius and dry heat me we can use any of it gbs or bacillus atrophius okay all this can come as your mcq they have come also before okay a few more questions cytotoxic and expired drug disposal done by quickly we have some more mcqs to see how do you dispose the cytotoxic and expired drugs dumping autoclave landfill or incineration how do you dispose them very good so we just did it it is incineration human anatomical waste disposed in this is just the last few slides for your revision human anatomical waste disposed in human anatomical waste disposed in very good i can see some answers yellow color good biomedical waste mixing with cement is known as what is this process known this has one comes as a previous year question this process is known as anyone like incineration you have certain other processes so what is this process known as everyone this is known as very good this is known as uh inertization okay inertization hota hai not vermi compositing vermi compositing mein we use an organism this is inertization good all right the inertization is you mix the waste with cement and other substances before disposal in order to minimize the risk of toxic substances contained in the waste this is more suitable for pharmaceutical waste okay we more use it for pharmaceutical waste so they can ask you biomedical waste mixed with cement is known as inertization in this see you mix the waste with cement and other substances before disposal 65% pharmaceutical will work you also mix with 15% lime cement and 5% water you just have to remember the name that it is mixing with cement all right okay so this is one more question tell me glass vaccine vials aap kis mein dispose karoge glass vaccine vials disposal of glass vaccine vials as biomedical waste is done by come on glass vaccine vials okay if they are empty glass vaccine vials where are you going to dispose i mean how will it be done so think which color bag is going into what 
okay i'm waiting for a few more answers some of you are saying b so cho beta glass vaccine vial ko kaise dispose karoge all right all right okay now see a glass vaccine vial will be disposed in a blue color bag everybody okay but if they uh, tell you about so they are going to go into a blue color bag so blue color bag mein you first have to disinfect and then it is sent for recycling okay glass vaccine vials are going to go into which color bag glass vaccine vials are going to go into blue color bag is that clear but if we talk about live and attenuated vaccines okay they can go into the yellow color bag as well but glass vaccine vials when you talk about they have to go into blue color bag am i clear okay all right a few more questions quickly expired medicines are discarded in which bag expired medicines kaun se bag mein jata hai expired medicines they go into yellow color bag okay chemical waste disposal under biomedical waste guideline autoclave microclave recycle or incinerate chemical waste disposal very good chemical waste disposal is incineration therefore your answer is option d is that clear everyone okay so did you all understand these questions everybody samajh mein aaya ek aur yes plastic wrapper which is used to pack the foley's catheter is disposed in plastic wrapper which is used to pack the foley's catheter is disposed in market quickly very good this is a plastic wrapper this becomes like a general waste right so this is disposed in yes this is disposed in our black color bag all right okay temperature for plasma pyrolysis plasma pyrolysis is also one of the methods uh, for uh, just like incineration okay the temperature for this is also 1200 degree celsius is that clear everyone okay so did you all understand this question guys all right so i hope i was able to make some points clear to you human anatomical waste will be disposed in put in your answers once more human anatomical waste disposed in so you've learned it already by incineration okay all right these are the pps uh, which we've already done okay this uh time we'll be doing it very good all right okay good everybody so this uh, uh wearing donning and doffing pp let me ask you one this question this is the last question for the day guys can you tell me the correct sequence of wearing pp kit kya hota hai i will i also have a small video on my channel on donning and doffing everybody you can go through it what is the correct sequence for wearing pp over here let's see your answers A B C D क्या है हम्म ओके समा सेइंग सी लेट्स सी व्हाट अदर्स आर सेइंग रुचि सेज बी सम से सी कोई कह रहा है ए चलो ऑल राइट ओके सो हियर आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट वेयरिंग पीपी किट ऑल राइट प्लीज रिमेंबर व्हेनेवर यू हैव टू ग्लव्स यू विल वेयर योर पीपी किट हाउ पहले यू गोइंग टू वेयर अ ग्लव्स एंड एट द एंड आल्सो यू हैव द सेकंड पेयर ऑफ ग्लव्स ओके सेकंड पेयर फर्स्ट पेयर यहां पे होता है आफ्टर यू वॉन योर ग्लव्स गाइस व्हाट इज इट दैट द नेक्स्ट यू आर गोइंग टू वेयर आफ्टर यू वॉन योर फर्स्ट पेयर ऑफ ग्लव्स आफ्टर योर फर्स्ट पेयर ऑफ ग्लव्स गाइस आप क्या पहनोगे यू आर गोइंग टू वेयर योर गाउन ओके आफ्टर द गाउन गाउन के ऊपर यू वेयर द शू कवर राइट ओके सो आफ्टर योर गाउन इट इज शू कवर देन आफ्टर योर शू कवर यू के नॉट वेयर योर फेस शील्ड बिफोर वेयरिंग योर मास्क राइट सो यू हैव टू वेयर योर मास्क then after your mask you have to wear your face shield if for extra precaution you are using a goggles so after mask you can also wear your goggles and then face shield so here it was 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 is that clear everyone did you understand this okay so i have a small video on donning and doffing you can um, have a look at that video also theek hai so this was very important just to sum up everyone 
Yes. Do this one also. Which disinfectant is mostly used for spill management, whether in COVID-19 patients or whether in uh, any other patient it is? What is the answer to this one, guys? Sodium hypochlorite. Whenever there is a spill, all right, you will wear your gloves first. Gloves peno. Uske baad ek blotting paper. So wear gloves. Okay. All right. Wear your mask. Okay. Then put a blotting paper. Let that blotting paper soak it. ठीक है उसको सोक करने दो देन थ्रो द ब्लॉटिंग पेपर इन अ येलो कलर बैग देन पुट वन परसेंट सोडियम हाइपोक्लोराइट ओके एंड देन यू लीव इट देर फॉर फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी मिनट्स ओके आफ्टर दैट अगेन पुट अ ब्लॉटिंग पेपर ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट लेट इट सोक वॉट एवर इज देयर स्टिल एंड देन यू आर गोइंग टू थ्रो दिस ब्लॉटिंग पेपर इन टू येलो कलर बैग देन क्लीन द एरिया विद एनी डिस इनफेक्टेंट रिमूव योर ग्लव इज दैट क्लियर इज दैट क्लियर नो इट इज ओके विद वन परसेंट सी एक्चुअली पूजा क्या होता है ना यू कैन गो अप टू वन टू थर्टीन परसेंट ऑल्सो बट फॉर स्पिल मैनेजमेंट वी इट कैन वर्क विद इवन वन परसेंट ऑफ सोडियम हाइपोक्लोराइट ओके लास्ट विथ नॉट द लीस्ट वॉट इड वी ऑल स्टडी राइट नाउ देखो येलो कलर बैग में वॉट ऑल गो जैसे प्लासेंटा प्लास्टर ऑफ पेरिस पैथोलॉजिकल वेस्ट कॉटन वेस्ट ड्रेसिंग मटीरियल्स जस्ट टू समिट अप ओके बेडिंग्स बॉडी फ्लूड कॉन्टेमिनेटेड पेपर क्लॉथ फेस मार्क कैस्ट साइटोटॉक्सिक एक्सपायर डिस्कार्डेड मेडिसिन माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी लैब वेस्ट ओके रेड में क्या क्या जाता है एंड ऑल्सो ब्लड बैग्स ओके ऑल्सो ब्लड बैग्स रेड में क्या क्या जाता है जस्ट टू सम अप सीरेंज विदाउट नीडल्स आई वी सेट कैथिटर्स ग्लव्स यूरिन बैग डायलिसिट्स किट आई वी बॉटल्स वाइट में ऑल द नीडल्स ऑल द शार्प्स कोर्स ओके वाइट में भी ऑल्सो समटाइम्स यू कैन पुट दीज ब्लेड्स कैल्स नीडल्स एंड ब्लू finally you have to pre treat with 1% sodium hypochlorite broken glass ampules lab slides nails all these things are going into metallic nails if it is like the orthopedic implants all right everybody so i hope you understood and had a fun time uh, trying to answer some of the questions for biomedical waste thank you so much for attending guys um, i go live on an academy at 9 am and 12 pm so you can join in tomorrow we have a class on 12 pm it's a live quiz guys uh for the crash course that we've just finished okay where you can see how you perform thank you so much guys for spending your evening and spending your time on my channel do subscribe to my channel if you've not done so far and do uh, share it with your friends and everybody okay i'm always there to help you we'll keep having such sessions on my channel thank you so much and god bless you all please be safe please take care of yourselves and health is your priority right now okay that is the most important thing thank you so much everybody thank you bye bye